Welcome here in this garden today. What we'll do is a step by step how to start your own veggie garden. First of all, look at the positioning of your vegetable garden. You have to put your vegetable garden in full sun. And then your second step is using the correct growing medium. The growing medium that we'll be using today is a potting soil. How to sow seeds the correct way. We've got one brilliant product called palm peat. We'll sow the seeds into the palm peat directly. And once the seed is sown in the palm peat, it's a water retainer. So it will keep the seed moist. And if the seed is more moist, then it will germinate so much quicker. Have a look at the back of the seed packet. It will give you step-by-step -step guide on how to space your seeds, how deep to sow your seeds, how far to sow your seeds apart from each other because that's crucial information and it will also tell you in which season. And then when we plant our seedlings, the one crucial thing that we need to do is bone meal. The reason why we use bone meal, because bone meal has got high levels of phosphorus and phosphorus is for root development. Roots are your foundation. If your foundation is right, you can't go wrong. Why did we do seedlings and seeds? Seedlings, we want that instant gratification that you can pick from it so much quicker. And then the seeds, takes a bit longer to germinate, but you know what? When you see that seed pop through that soil, that is the most rewarding thing ever. Your vegetables need supplements and fertilizers to keep them happy to move and shake on a daily basis. And we provide every garden with a fertilizer. There's two different fertilizers. The one is a Nutrifeed, which is a water soluble fertilizer. And that keeps you back into the garden every two weeks to fertilize five to 10 grams on a five liter of water feed every two weeks. And then we've got one that's got a longer workout in the soil, which is the 315 organic. Why do we use the 315? We look at the last number, which is the five, and that's the potassium. The more potassium for your vegetables, the better, because that makes them strong and healthy roots. And always make sure when watering your garden, to first let your watering can run before you go over your seeds because you don't want your seeds to land up in your neighbor's yard. <laughs> the most rewarding part of having your own vegetable garden, once you cut that spinach, once you pull that carrots out of the soil and you have a look at it and you eat it, the nutrition for yourself and the value that you'll get is far greater than anything else. That's in a nutshell everything that you need to know and enjoy your vegetables. 